One after another, federal agents left the Lodi Parachute Center with boxes and garbage bags in hand, stacking them inside their cars and driving off. The center's owner, William Douse, unwilling to talk. You said you'd talk to us. This is private property. Please leave. Thank you. What's clear is that this business had a multitude of past incidents, including 15 skydiving deaths since 1999. Among them was 18-year-old Tyler Turner, who died along with his instructor during a tandem jump in 2016. It was later determined his instructor, 25-year-old Yang Quan, wasn't certified. A month later, an investigation by the United States Parachute Association led to the suspension of about 20 instructors at the center, while 120 others were told they needed to undergo more training. Earlier in 2016, a plane carrying 18 people lost power and crashed in a vineyard. Everyone survived. Dow spoke with us then, saying he believes his operation is safe. I feel like one's too many, two's a lot, but no, we haven't done anything that would contribute. We may, you know, see one issue, we straighten that out, and then the next day, next week, or two years later, we have another incident totally unrelated. So uh, I don't think we're unsafe. Dow's also faced large penalties in 2010 and 11, totaling $933,000 for failing to conduct proper maintenance on skydiving planes. In a statement to KCRA 3 News, a Federal Aviation Administration spokesperson wrote today, we were unable to reach a settlement with the company in either case. We referred the cases to the U.S. Attorney's Office for possible prosecution. Now growing questions about what's inside those bags and boxes taken out and what does it mean for the future of the Parachute Center?